when it's dark and there's no power available, would a gas lantern give off enough light for a solar phone charger to work? That's what we'll find out in this video. I'll try it with this gas lantern, capable of 1500 lumens. But first, in order to get an accurate comparison, I'll try the charger out in the sun. This is the solar charger I'll be using. And USB port is in there. And I have a cord with it to plug into different devices. But when I do that, I, it'll show that it's charging, but I can't measure it in any way, like in watts. So what I'm going to be doing is I found a USB cord and I stripped the one end off so I could find the plus and minus so I can measure the voltage and the amps being drawn out of it so I can get an accurate test with this. And this was rated at 10 watts from the advertisement but I highly doubt that's what it is but we'll put it to the test. So I have the little panel set up hanging in the sun and got it set up over here. I'm running that flashlight that I was before and start getting some readings here. I usually don't bring out this meter unless I know I'm not going to fry it. I keep this one away from uh, high voltage because this one was pretty expensive. This is that high voltage meter that I got before. And somebody shooting in the background. So we got 0 0.6, 0 0.63, 3 amps and 4.7 volts. It stays pretty steady. Oh, it's gone up a little bit. Okay, I'll try some resistor loads now too. And I'll start out with a 10 ohm resistor on there. And pretty much full sun. And here's the amperage we got 0.48 amps and 4.8 volts. Now switched over to a 20 ohm load. Take that reading there. 4.99 volts and about a quarter amp. Panel still in full sun, and now I have two of these 10 ohm resistors hooked in parallel, so we'll have 5 ohms. And this is a reading I have on these 0.736 amps, 3.67 volts. And I again switched up to a 25 ohm. And take those readings 0.194 amps and 5.024 volts. Now I'm going to take this solar charger and get it set up so I can run off the lantern. I took that solar charger and I tied it around the inside of this jar cradle I had for an old pressure canner. And then I'll set this right up on top of the lantern. And I, I stuck some magnets on there just try to balance it out a little bit better. But that's how the experiment is going to go. I have the lantern going now just on low. Solar panels ready. Just sitting there, we got about two volts. I'm gonna start out with this little flashlight because that was uh, taking the best load last time. So we'll set this up up on the lantern, and we're starting to get little activity. And then I'll start turning up the lantern. And 
that's full I'll put on the lantern yeah we are getting some light but this is the wattage we're getting off of it about 3 volts 78 milliamps so this was drawing the best load last time or the most current out of the solar panel and this is what we're getting with the lantern on full a little bit better I suppose these panels might start getting warm right now they're cool yet but they are starting to get warm a 100 milliamps right there Anyway, that's what we're getting out of this. Jumping around a little bit. I'll, I'll try a resistor once. Well, this is the open voltage on it with no load. And I just have it on low. I'll turn it up. And the voltage stays pretty constant, it looks like. That's full power again. I've been having trouble trying to stick a resistor across here as a load because anytime like I touch a resistor across here it seems like it's just shortening something out and I'm not getting you know readings that are meaningful. I haven't figured that out. I switched over to a potentiometer so I could vary the resistance to get maybe some better readings. Right now we got 5 volts, 32 milliamps, and I'll go ahead and turn up the full power on the lantern. It doesn't look like it changed that much. Now I'll adjust the resistance to see what we can do with it. We jumped up to 46 milliamps, 5 volts. Then we dropped back down to 3 volts, 73 milliamps. Back the other way. 5 volts, 51 milliamps. There you got 63 milliamps at 5 volts, 73 milliamps, and there. just slowly changing the resistance to get the best uh, wattage output. Well, you could charge your cell phone some. There's enough power to charge it a little bit. Yeah. Just a little bit more. So it's not as good as in the sun, but you can get some out of it. The results showed that the greatest wattage I could get out of that solar charger in the full sun was uh, 2.9 watts. And that was using that flashlight as a load and dropping the voltage down. And if I wanted to charge something at around 5 volts, which I think you probably need for a cell phone, it was putting out... 0.9 watts so that's a far cry from the 10 watts that they're advertising and with the propane lantern the greatest wattage I was getting out of that was 350 milliwatts at the 5 volt point so there had been something there for charging a phone and with that light I was getting 316 milliwatts 
it just it just didn't have enough amperage at that lower light level to put any more than that out. But if you found yourself in that situation, maybe an emergency, there'd be a little bit of something there you could work with. So there you have it. That's about as accurate as I can be with it. And maybe that'll help you out if you ever find yourself in that situation.